guys. Welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Chromosome and chromatid are two terms that many students mix up. Before replication, you have one copy of the genetic information for each chromosome. So these are referred to as chromosomes. Okay? After replication, the genetic information is doubled, and now we say that each chromosome has two chromatids. Okay? So a chromatid is basically like a half of a chromosome, and when it's separate, when we only have a single copy, we refer to it as a chromosome. So whether it has one copy of genetic information or two copies of genetic information as a whole, we refer to it as a chromosome. During meiosis, two homologous chromosomes will come together and they will cross over. We call this synapsis. And we call this structure of crossed over chromosomes a tetrad. With that background, let's take a second look at the question. Synapsis results in the formation of a tetrad. A tetrad is composed of four chromatids. Remember, it's composed of two homologous chromosomes, and each chromosome has two chromatids. So two plus two equals four. Therefore, the answer here is answer choice C. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.